All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. I've usually talked in the past in one video every year or two about the Euphrates and Tigris River situations in Iraq, with Iraq also not exactly having that much groundwater aquifers it can rely on, and Iraq obviously doesn't normally experience that much rainfall, even when they are not in a drought, which they have been perpetually for a very long time now. Iraq, in terms of its amount of rainfall received on its own territory, has been gradually heading downhill into a worsening and worsening situation for a number of decades now. And that situation has also been aggravated in the last 30 years in particular by the construction of more and more dams along the Euphrates and Tigris rivers in Turkey, which is their source country. And so, since droughts and rain patterns don't stop at national borders, the long-term and short-term very harsh episodic droughts that Iraq has gone through have also affected the eastern and southeastern portions of Turkey, where those rivers come from. And in response to counteract their portion of the drought, Turkey has consistently held back more and more of the water on those rivers behind its dams to use for itself, which obviously then makes the situation downriver in Syria and then Iraq much worse than it otherwise would be. And on top of this, as water access or irrigation viability has receded from more and more of Iraq's croplands, those lands have been left abandoned and become fallow. And in a flat, desertous country like Iraq, when the wind patterns start sweeping, that begins to pick everything up with it. So those abandoned croplands have also gradually been getting eroded, and Iraq's thin margin of fertile topsoil in those areas getting blown off along with dust storms. And thus, over time, the three of these things acting together have seen Iraq's active agricultural land contract by greater and greater amounts, to the point that now, as of 2024, nearly 70% of Iraq's agricultural land is out of the picture in one way or another, compared to what Iraq had, say, half a century or a century ago. When you look at a map of the Persian Gulf region, and you see Iraq listed as being dependent on imports for more than 75% of its basic food needs, that might shock you because you remember that the Mesopotamia region was the Fertile Crescent. However, now, a combination of these conditions and the fact that Iraq's population today, as of 2024, is over 45 million, has now brought Iraq into its current circumstance. But obviously, working that math backwards, the 70% of its agricultural land out of the picture math, Iraq does currently grow enough food to feed around 11 or 12 million people. So if that 70% of its agricultural land that is now gone were still at the moment usable, then Iraq would be able to grow enough annually to feed probably around 40 million people. It would be able to almost feed its entire population on its own. And that is it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are both down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's also links to different Google Docs in the description, which consist of graphs, data compilations, charts, essay write-ups covering all kinds of different topics, oil and gas, energy and electricity, mining and minerals, demographics, everything. A link to my Catch channel will be in the top end comment as well. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.